Welcome back to the channel. And today I just have a really quick beginner's tutorial. I'm gonna show you how to take any object in Blender and then just using the um, array modifier, you can select any object you want and then use that object as an offset. The really cool thing about this, it allows you to not only make a nice circular array, but you can always move the object that's offsetting things and then rotate and move that. And you can get all of these sort of cool effects and shapes that you can make. So this is gonna be really handy if you're a beginner in Blender, you're gonna enjoy this quick and simple tutorial on how to do a circular array in Blender 4.3. So let's demonstrate this with the default cube. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the default cube and we want the origin point, which is that little orange dot you see in the middle, we want that to remain in the world center. So what we will do is we'll tab into edit mode and inside of edit mode with all of the topology active, you're just gonna go G and you can move it on any direction, but I'm gonna just go G, X and move it over on the X a little bit. So in the front view, it's kind of off to the side like this. So then if we tab back out into object mode, you can see now if you were to rotate that it now rotates around the origin point still, which is remaining in the center, but our mesh is off to the side. So now we can create um, any object we want as the offset object. I recommend you go shift A and then just go over to your empty options and add in a cube. This won't render, but you'll still be able to see it in the viewport display, which makes it really handy. So now what we need to do, we need to select the object that we want to add the circular array to. We want to go over to our modifiers and go and add modifier, click on search and then type in array, click on the array modifier. And by default, we have all of these factors that we can mess around with. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure all of these are set to zero is we're not gonna be relying on them, but rather we're gonna come over here to the object offset and tick that, come to the drop down, and then we just need to click on this little eyedropper. And then we can come over here and select our offset object, which is our um, empty over here. So what we can do now is we can actually select this empty and we can go R and Z and rotate it on the Z and I'm just gonna rotate a little bit like this. And now you can see we have this offset. So all we have to do is just select our cube, go over here to our count and give it a number. So I'm gonna go maybe like 12. And now you can see we have it um, arraying around. So in this case, it's rotated too much. So I'll decrease the amount here. So now I've got nine cubes. Now I'm gonna show you a really cool trick here. If you want a very specific amount of cubes to be perfectly arrayed or any object for that matter, all you have to do is choose your count. So in this case, I'm gonna say I want 12. And then all you have to do is get your calculator and go 360, that's how many degrees are in a circle. And then click on divide and then just divide it by whatever number you have here. So in this case, I'm gonna go 12 and that equals 30. So all you'd have to do then is select your offset object press N to bring up your properties and go to your item. And then over here under your rotations, I'm gonna make this on the Z rotation, I'm gonna make it 30. And now these 12 here are precisely aligned around in a circle. Now the really cool thing is I can tab into edit mode and I can grab my original cube here and I can come in here and make edits to it. And that'll all update around this in a circular way, which is really kind of cool and it's very powerful. Now that's just how to make a perfect circular array. The cool thing here is that you can now select your empty here and you can always go G to move it, right? And by doing that, you can kind of create really cool effects. Like you can see over here, really cool objects and shapes, kind of like these cool looking fractals. And then you can also rotate your empty to do kind of like the same thing and you can get all sorts of really cool effects by using the offset and that way. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed this little introduction. Um, so beginner's guide to using the circular array or the object offset here. Um, I'm sure this will come in handy with some of your projects and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.